Hey guys, and welcome to your first lesson on the social structure of ancient China, located under the social structure of ancient China tab in the ancient China teaching and learning website resource. In this lesson, we're going to cover the social structure of ancient China or explain each of the levels, the five levels of uh, the ancient Chinese social structure. So your success criteria, by the end of this lesson, you need to know social, the social structure of ancient Chinese society, and you need to be able to explain each level here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by looking at the social structure of ancient China. This is a diagram that explains the structure. You can see there's five levels, the emperor, Shi, Nong, Gong, and Shong, and it's in order of most valued and least valued, and this is based on respect and honor as well. The size of the segments of this diagram that I've made as well is representative of the population. So how many people were in each of these levels? So let's by, start off by kicking off with the emperor. While I'm explaining as well, you might want to copy this diagram in your books too. So start off with the emperor. So the emperor was the ruler. Um, so they were in charge of pretty much everything. We're talking taxes, laws, essential decisions, and the emperor enjoyed a lot of privileges in their role as well. Under the emperor is the Shi. So they are wealthy nobles who were landowners, poets, and scholars. So the Shi are essentially the nobles and wealthy people. They also own all the land that the Nong work on. So the Nong is the peasant farmer class. That includes their families. And they were people who were well respected because they made food for everyone. So that's why they are under the Shi and the Emperor, then third, because they were respected because they made food for everyone in the society. And they worked on the land that was owned by the Shi. Under the Nong is the Gong. So they are craftsmen and skilled workers. While they made things and did things for other people, they weren't as respected as the Nong. And then at least respected, we have the Shong. These were merchants and traders. And these guys were the least respected or least valued because they only worked to make money for themselves and not for other people. Whereas the Nong made food for other people. They made things for other people. And that's what is explained in this uh, little paragraph here. So that is essentially your social structure of ancient China. If you can remember this, you're going to go a long way to succeeding in this unit. So we've got emperor, ruler, the Shi, nobles, Nong, farmers and their families, the Gong, craftsmen, and then the Shang merchants and traders. And they're not as respected as the Nong because they only worked for themselves, whereas the Nong worked for other people. And this was considered honorable and respectful work. The last activity for this lesson is a click view activity. So you'll be given this worksheet here if you're studying in class. If you're learning at home for whatever reason, you can go ahead and print the worksheet by clicking on this button here. And what you need to do is watch each of the videos that goes with these headings here and write down two facts. Be ready to share your answers as well. So I'm just going to quickly sign in to click view. So you can see each of uh, these videos here matches the headings that are on this worksheet here. So this is where you find all of them there. You can click on that link to find the same one as well. So uh, you can see it goes for about 25 minutes, the whole thing. But if, essentially, if you follow that video and follow the worksheet, collect two facts each, that will take you the rest of the lesson as well. It will take quite a while. By the time you copy this diagram and then complete this worksheet, that will take you the whole lesson. So thanks for watching, guys. And remember, if you want to stay updated to any new websites I make, like the Ancient China one, or any new uh, lessons I make in existing websites, like the Ancient China website here, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you.